Who among us has not utilized AI ever since it became accessible? Who hasn't used ChatGPT for help in their LinkedIn bio, project or assignment, or even the weirdest form of questions? And of course, there's always someone talking about the dangers of AI, which we tend to always brush off because they're far, far away. No? Bad news though. Those negative aspects have already seen the light. Well, it seems like one of the costs of AI is yet another climate crisis. Earlier this month, Google revealed that its greenhouse gas emissions have surged 48% over the last five years. It linked this rise primarily to electricity consumption and emissions from the supply chain. How? Two words, data centers. Data centers are essential for training and operating AI models such as Google's Gemini or OpenAI's GPT-4. Sophisticated computing equipment or servers are embedded in those data centers to go through the loads of data pertaining to the AI systems. However, they need massive amounts of electricity to run, and depending on the energy source, of course, they generate CO2 and create embedded CO2 from the cost of manufacturing and transporting the needed equipment. And yes, it can get worse. According to the International Energy Agency, total electricity consumption from data centers could double from 2022 levels to 1,000 terawatt hours in 2026, equivalent to the energy demand of Japan. AI will lead to data centers using 4.5% of global energy generation by 2030, as calculated by research semi-analysis. Not only that, but water usage is also significant, as up to 6.6 .6 billion cubic meters of water use by 2027, so around two-thirds of England's annual consumption could be linked to AI, based on estimations. Significant uncertainty is what is looming around Google reaching its target of net zero emissions by 2030, as in reducing the overall amount of CO2 emissions it is accountable for to zero. The biggest financial backer of ChatGPT developer OpenAI, Microsoft, previously revealed that its 2030 net zero moonshot might fail due to its AI strategy. But who cares, you know? I mean, if people are not worried by these two big tech companies supporting Israel in its ongoing genocide in Gaza, do you think they'd care if they contribute to climate change and slowly kill us all with emissions?